Hello and welcome to another episode of The Living Philosophy. Today we're going to talk again about Stoicism. Today we're going to talk about the indifference, which is a key part of Stoicism. So the indifference are the things that do not matter for making you a sage, for making you live the best life that you can live. And these are the things that happen to good and bad alike. And these are the things that really you can just discard. The good and the bad can have many things like you can have wealth, you can have relationships, you can have friends. These are all things that are indifferent to the Stoics because good people and bad people alike have them. Same with life and death. Is that just because someone's dead or just because someone's alive, it doesn't mean that they're good. It doesn't mean that that thing matters. So the only thing that matters in Stoicism is being virtuous, is living the good life, is living the, the life of wisdom the philosophical life and that's what stoicism is all about it's, it's about not reacting as we saw in the episode on the passions it's not reacting to every emotion it's staying in your stable mind living according to nature as the stoics are always talking about and so it's just a it's a very simple idea of just being true to what's going on so it's a really simple concept it's just the things that don't matter the stoics are, is all about cultivating that attitude towards say like death or wealth is that like i could lose all my wealth tomorrow and it wouldn't matter to me because that's not what is essential for happiness you don't want to be this is similar to like the buddhist thing of attachment you know that uh attachment tanha is the root of all bukkha or the root of all suffering in buddhism that's the the second or third noble truth and the it's the core of buddhism that like you remove your attachments so stoicism is is again it's cultivating that similar acknowledgement of wealth doesn't matter being alive doesn't matter family don't don't matter all these things are indifferent and it sounds cold in that sense even your own life or death don't matter the only thing that matters is your own internal wisdom is how you are handling your emotions it's how how are you living are you living the philosophical life everything else is indifferent and it seems cold or callous but really it's it's just about wisdom i mean Antony de Bello kind of talks about funerals and he says uh who are you mourning at the funeral are you mourning the, the person who's who's dead do you think do you think they want you to be crying do you think they they care if they're dead about whether you're crying or not i think they prefer if you if you weren't crying so stoicism is just a, is a similar thing is that like it's, it's a realization that your emotions are on some level uh, they're, they're a bit indulgent and i don't know if this is the the healthiest attitude to have to emotions but certainly i think that the the life of wisdom as not being ruled by your emotions i think that's a that's a very core facet of wisdom and i do think that and I do think that stoicism is onto something there. So essentially the indifference, it's they're just the things in life that don't matter for making you happy, for making you wise, for making you a, a good philosopher, a sage. And it doesn't mean that there aren't preferables. So there's preferables and unpreferables. So obviously we prefer to have people we love around us. We prefer to have more wealth and maybe prefer to have more luxury in our life. But it's not essential. It's not what matters so stoicism is is really at the core it's about pinpointing in on what's important in life and keeping in mind that you know you could lose everything else i think uh the great stoic epictetus has a he has a, a great saying in one of his lectures that so he, he's talking about uh, have i have i lost my wife have i lost my house have i lost my kids have i lost my wealth no i've returned them i've restored them it's it's i've given them back to divinity they were on loan and so it's, it's just a reframe there from rather than I have lost them, it's, it's that they were never mine. I never possessed them. It's that they were a gift. They were a gift from the gods. They were a gift from life. And now that they're gone, it's not that I've lost them. It's that I've, they have been restored. They've gone back to their, to their eternal home, to their proper, to the, the place where they really belong. So it's just a, it's just a, a change of that attitude. And it's, it's quite powerful because in that sense with that epictetus quote it doesn't sound quite as callous it just sounds grateful you know and it's 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 finding a way to to have that thing of like a philosophy which allows you to let go it's a philosophy it's a living philosophy that enables you to let go of the things that aren't essential to your happiness but still to be grateful when they're around you know so i guess it's 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 an attitude of gratitude and just accepting life whatever happens
and not clinging too tightly to any one thing or any one person and being able to surrender those at, at any point. So I think in that sense, it's, it's, a real, it's a real wise part of stoicism. It's definitely something to, that everyone, I think, could in integrate into their own life. And that, that quote from Epictetus is, is one of the, the great pieces of wisdom in, in philosophy. So I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of stoic wisdom. If you have, please subscribe if you haven't already. And otherwise, I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching.